Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. So in the last episode we captured this beauty. Let's add her to the fleet. So we're sending you to Admiralty. You are the 78. Add to fleet. We will send you to Admiralty. We're sending you to Admiralty. And we're adding this one to fleet. And there's a reason why. I need money. Just look at how much money I have. So I want to sell... Which ship did we add? The Verity. HMS Verity. Oh yeah, needs repair first. And while we're here, let's uh, unmount all the cannons. So... HMS Verity, 14k. Let's see what else can we sell. All of the cannons, of course. We need the money. We are poor people. And land weapons, we're gonna sell uh, a couple of things. Mainly uh, without uh, bayonet. Now I have a decent amount of money. So, uh, first of all, jump pull. Ooh. I don't have enough, uh, whatchamacallit. Crew. Um, officer Schwader. Uh, let's see. Let's go to... Yeah. Which ones did we agree to standardize on? Spanish 1752, I believe, right? Yeah, Spanish 1752. Aren't they here somewhere? Uh, Spanish 1775. Is that better in any way? No, it's the same. Wait, how is that? This seems to be slightly better. Ah, that has better reload rate. Let's get a bunch of those as well. Oh, right. Uh, let's get enough for our ship. That's a lot of money. Uh, which one did we agree on? I forget again. I am not necessarily the smartest. Ah, that one. How much crew can we load? That much is the answer. Okay. Uh, let's repair. Needs a captain. Uh, wait, let's see. This is the mission we're doing today. Pain in the neck. The British base on Block Island continues to disrupt our operations. Once again, British transports are trying to escape pursuit by watching the base, and it will take a heroic effort to catch them now. Something needs to be done about ba this base in the near future. Otherwise, we will not be able to stop the supply of British expeditionary forces. So we can have six ships. Four, five, six. Let's uh, get our uh, crew going. Okay, that is going to require some uh, buying. We will take care of that later. Uh, let's do gunnery. That one's good. That one's good. Gunnery as usual. 
Uh, can we switch you around with weapons? So I need something with 500. In the armory, that is. Yeah, that, that works. Okay. Let's, uh... Have everyone for... Oops, I need to actually press upgrade. Uh, let's have four officers for everyone just so that we have some uh, spare officers for this guy. There we go. It's a more balanced uh, setup. Uh, okay, whatever. Okay. Uh... Yeah, we kind of have to win this one though. What are the rewards for this? Of course, we can't see the rewards. Uh, we're gonna have to take care of that in the next episode, of course, but uh, it's going to be extremely important. You might have to sell some stuff. 27,000 right now, that is a lot. I mean, we can sell some ships after this battle as well. Uh, so yeah, let's go into battle. Let's show those British who's boss. We've had a lovely new third rate. Let's see. Uh, let's pop you. And let's give you the HMS Fury as well. And you get uh, to... Uh, Big boys, let's start. On our second day following the British convoy, two sails appeared on the horizon. It seems that we are too eager to continue the chase and have encountered some British ships at Block Island. It is unlikely that the British only sent these two ships. You should be prepared for more to arrive. Under the other circumstances, we would have to retreat. But we cannot afford to lose the captured British transports, and so we must fight. Ooh, okay. Well, the grape. The grape, you are going to uh, go on capture duty. This is a... This looks like a Trincomalee. Later class frigate, it is a Trincomalee. That is perfect. Uh, you have grape, you have grape. Excellent. Trincomalee is a lovely ship, but I don't know if we will have the resources to capture her. I mean, rather keep her in, in our fleet. Definitely gonna take her and sell her. We are gonna capture her as well and hand her in for trophy money or a trophy reputation. Do you have full sail? No, go full sail. Full sail. For that matter, we'll do exactly the same with these. Uh, transport, capture them and sell them for trophy money. Man, the later class figure, I just love how she looks. I miss sailing her in naval action, I have to say. Although the heel on that thing was always a bitch. How fast are you going? 7.9 knots? Yeah, the 68 can go somewhat faster. Oh, 
Although the Fury is even faster. Let's have you slow down. The Fury takes priority. So that she can take possession of the Hope. And then uh, run away outside of the battle. This is not a case where you have to have them run away, right? At least one must be fulfilled. Yeah, I mean, I have faith in that. Okay, set full sail. Let's ensure that we are going for the boarding. Crew shock, woo! She is low on morale, no one's surprised. Okay, let's uh, slow down. Not that much though. And this is where boarding begins. Okay. Have you piss off? Uh, full sail, full sail. Oh! If we can succeed in getting the captured British ship to the evacuation zone, the British will not be able to recapture them. Oh, that is also exactly where I wanted to sail them. Did the wind direction change? It seems so. anchor oh that is a problem I see a problem it's a 74 and a 64 worth of problem uh, that is a friendly not so much problem See if we can have him board her. Let's just get the hope safe. We will worry about uh, getting her up there later. Okay, wounded I can deal with. What kind of ships were that? Okay, I figured on a third rate. So to anchor, yep. Very good, very good.
Can you potentially start the boarding process here? Let's weigh anchor. Let's see if you can start boarding. Let's slow down a bit. Okay. Uh, minimum crew. Set sail. You set sail there as well. You can go regular speed again. close so that we can board uh, you Let's sell this heading full sail perfect perfect let's quickly got a broadside off HMS Fury at sale we have no use for you right now drop anchor ah excellent she has uh, surrendered actually this is perfect time or are the perfect use of uh, of a rowboat to take possession of that lovely little frigate? After we take possession of the Dominion, we will... Uh, how many is minimum crew? 40 crew, okay. Hopefully we can press transfer minimum crew to only... Okay. I certainly didn't expect that response. Or a result, rather. Okay, let's have you set sail. You are set to drop your anchor, right? Yes. You keep on going this heading to keep the weather gauge. Let's all weigh anchor about the same place. Sounds good. Now on to the next group of vessels. Uh, let's have you actually weigh anchor here. And let's have you group up with him. Perfect. This one should be an easy victory. Let's speed things up a bit again. Gotta keep an eye out on these guys. That is a 74 though, I do want to add her to my fleet. The 
because 74s are big guns. Uh, just play anchor here. You are joining him. You are part of him, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting a bit more from uh, this 74. Also, what kind of ammo did this uh, frigate fire? Was that bull or or grape? That is good to know because grape is good for us. There's 74 though, he is definitely firing ball. There's 74, did I say 74? I meant 64. I want to pass behind the yeoman. So I can get both broadsides, one on Erna and one on Eden. For that we are going to raise the sails a little. Just a little more. Excellent, excellent. Let's lower the sails. Get some speed going. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, okay. I, I read that. Him going for my hull is a bit annoying though, I have to say. Let's uh, get a change in tune, I think. Let's prepare for similar with the omen. Boarding should happen any moment. Alright, we do want to get her as close as possible so that we can start boarding. Ah, low morale, that's good. Take possession of that. Come on, strike your colors. Awesome. Minimum price crew. Let's have you set sail. You set sail. Minimum price crew. You set sail first.
Nice little collection we got over here. I really cannot complain. Let's append you to the end of that. Let's append you to the end of that. And let's have you set sail as well. Yes, excellent. Uh, I think my recording software froze there for a few seconds. Hey, where are you going? Let's have you weigh anchor for a bit. Just so that this is cleared up. You have grape, you load grape, you load grape. Okay, let's set sail. And then those two vessels will join in later. Okay, you can set sail now. Excellent. So a 70... Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. HMS Yeoman. HMS Yeoman. <laughs> Sneaky Britishes. Stealing my ship names after I steal your ship. I probably really should rename all my ships, but laziness. You know what? I just realized. I have an idea. Why not name our ships after you guys? I don't know why it took me this long to get that idea, but... Comment down below in the comments what name you want your ship. And I will name it that ship. Unless, of course, it's offensive, but the best names, they get a name. If I do not like the name at all for whatever reason, I won't. But chances are, it'll be good enough. So leave a comment below, what do you want your ship to be called? And I'll, I'll assign it from... Uh, who was first, I guess? The, the, the first person gets the bigger ship, and then it goes downwards. Yeah, I think that sounds like a good plan, really. So be sure to comment down below, otherwise you won't get your ship name, and then you'll be sad. And I'll be sad because then it'll still be HMS whatever. Really, is our entire fleet British? <laughs> Every single ship we're sailing today has British origins. Beautiful. Shouldn't the HMS Endurance be the first one out of these two, since that is the Admiral's flagship? Huh. Bit too late for that now, but I just realized that would have been better. Oh well. Accidents, they happen. Okay, let's slow down a bit so that we can get a more... 
some more elevation on our shot. And that's sailing closer. Dang it, that's what I was afraid of. I was hoping he wouldn't, but he did. Okay, let's uh, go for an all-out melee. Let's try and have them not damage our ships too much. Full sail. Full sail, por favor. I don't know why I did Spanish. We are Americans after all. Uh, let's raise the sails a little. Get that broadside off on the daughter roll. This heading, you make more of this heading. Excellent. Sail. It is a bit tricky having this many uh, ships sailing around. Things do get a bit messy. Oh, what? Oh, uh, what now? Excuse me? I needed that, sir. I need that mizzen mast. I honestly did not expect that to happen. Oh! Because of that, she has very low morale. Okay, cool. Uh, let's uh, move her out of here for now. To recover some morale. Now he is changing to grape, okay. That hurts the feeling of the Orpheus, I have to say. Sell him over there to recover some morale. Uh, sure. Let's do slow speed. Ah, fuck it. Why not? Why not do that now? We do have the crew advantage after all. And apparently the morale advantage. Oh, bollocks. Okay. Ah, uh, I do not like this. This is a bit uh, tighter than I wanted. Okay, you are allowed to fire. Oh, the Yeoman is our 64. I had it in my mind that she was our 74. Okay, let's let's take a moment. Have all our ships uh, weigh anchor for a bit.
When I said melee, I can tell you, this is not what I was thinking when I said melee. Although with that also said, I don't think I can argue against these results, like... Due to this, we have two ships of the line with lower morale. Of course, we have one of our own, own uh, ships with low morale right now, but... Uh, it will be fine. Way anchor here. Way anchor. I believe there is some friendly fire going on right now. Uh, let's have you set sail. Okay, let's start a boarding uh, boarding operation. The endurance should have the morale for it. The only question really is, will he be able to get in position for it? Let's slowly get closer with the speaker as well. And the answer is yes, he will be able to get in position for it. Okay, ceasefire on the starboard. Okay, excellent. Check. You need to go about there, about there, about there. Now let's start getting all of our ships out of there. Speaker is slowly getting closer. Ooh, she has, she has taken a beating though. Beating though, which is less than ideal. Let's make this boarding action quick, which should be easily doable considering our crew advantage. Ah, the boarding has started. Wait. Yeah, okay. HMS speaker, that this one. That is our lovely ship. Come on, dust roll. Hey, you. Uh, way anchor. This should finish the battle, and then we will have done another lovely mission. Where we have gotten another lovely group of ships of the line. Minimum price crew. Excellent, excellent. Very good. We lost one officer, of course we did. 
Ah, we captured supply. Some guns. And of course, loads of ships. Pain in the neck. This victory has proven that no challenge is too great for a growing navy. With their supply line disrupted, the British expeditionary forces will be greatly restricted in their actions. Now is the time to strike and ensure the rights of our people. Awesome. Let's uh, pop one more in rewards. Next we need to do that. And of course we need to... Deal with all of this. But one thing's for certain. We don't need those transport ships. So anyways, I do hope you all enjoyed. Oh, that she is a beautiful figure. I'm sorry, but I love the later. But yes, anyways, I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.